All right, I'm telling the AI to go out there and start breaking those windows on the other side. We need to vent this fire a little bit more. I'm having some problems. Wait, don't go in there. No, go around. Go around. Why did he just walk through there? Why would you not be smart enough to go around? YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, checking out Firefighting Simulator The Squad. This is a new firefighting sim that's just come out. I've been looking at this game for a while now, and it actually kind of came out of nowhere. It's like, hey, surprise, it's getting released. So we're going to jump right in, check it out, see what it's all about. I do want to do some multiplayer here in the future. So if you guys want to see more of this and you want to see some multiplayer, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button, comment down below, and let's jump in. All right, so here we are at the mission screen. So I initially thought the game was kind of like an open world game where you just took calls that way and you kind of hung out in the fire station. Unfortunately, it seems like it's more of a mission based thing, which that could be a good thing because the missions are quite dynamic and you can go back and replay them. So we're going to start off here with home crafting. Uh, we'll get this mission done. And then, like I said, I want to move on to some multiplayer. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and turn on the sirens here. Uh, we got a little call. Let's go ahead. Beep the horn. Oh, this is awesome. All right, so we got our different camera views here. We have a first person cam. Uh, it's gonna be fun, like, once we get into multiplayer. I'm kind of curious if the people ride along with you or they get to drive the other truck. Uh, I'm really curious about that. The sirens sound good. Uh, visually, the game's actually fairly decent looking. Uh, the world's quite big. So that's why I was kind of confused about the uh, not being an open world game. All right, get out of my way. I guess we're gonna follow the other truck to the scene here. See if we can clear some of this traffic out. So I'm looking for smoke. I don't see the fire. I'm kind of curious. Actually, it's quite a ways away. So yeah, we got a bit of driving to do here. Oh, uh, I think we just bumped into the other truck. We're, we're going to call that bump drafting. I was trying to speed him up there. It's fine. So yeah, you will get a hold of uh, some other trucks, some other engines, uh, tower ladders. Like, there's a quite a bit to the game. Uh, the training actually showed a lot of what's possible. Uh, you do have some AI squad mates, so you can command them around. But I guess uh, when you play with humans, it replaces all your uh, squad mates there. Which could be pretty awesome if you're really coordinating on trying to get the fire taken care of. Alright, so we're getting some uh, information about the call. It looks like the fire spread, and they don't know if anybody's still in the house right now. So that's got to be priority one, is getting into the house and searching it out. And then we'll get, hopefully, the squad mates to start to take care of the fire. Uh, if they don't automatically do that, this is one of the beginning missions, so they might not give you all of that responsibility yet. All right, we just exited the tunnel. The fire truck in front of us just yeeted the car through the sky, and I could see the smoke. Oh, boy, this is going to be epic. Okay, we'll have to see if anybody else is on the scene here. I don't see any police cars. A lot of times I have, like, police cars and, like, an ambulance set up uh, blocking off the street. We'll see if we're the first on the scene here. Uh, we might be. Actually, I see an ambulance. Looks like... Alright, there is some police presence here, too. They blocked off the street. Okay, so... Oh, this is pretty cool. So we need to find the, uh, the fuse box. Cut the power real quick on it. And it looks like front door is locked. Okay, so we need to find a way in the house, and we need to find the fuse box. Alright, here we are. Looks like the AI is gonna go ahead and get to work here. Uh, let's go ahead. We need to get inside the house ASAP. So let's go ahead and get into the back to find some more, uh supplies here all right so we got an axe here let's go ahead and equip that uh let's go ahead i've got one of the squad mates is currently working on the uh one of the attack lines i've got two others here uh let me go ahead and call them over all right i'm gonna get him to break open the door we need to start venting some of these windows there we go gotta clear out some of the smoke here there we go clear those out all right Broke those. We got our guy. He's supposed to be working on that door. Hopefully he gets over there. I think he's getting a tool right now. All right, here he comes. I've got another one on an attack line. I want to get him working maybe right in this area. I think he'll be able to start to uh, work on the fire through the window there. All right, so we got this side open. Let's get our third squad mate in position on me. Uh, we'll get him just to follow me in. And we'll get our other guy to follow us in. All right, let's get some lights on here. We need to uh, probably open up some more stuff here. All right, let's go ahead and start smashing open doors here. I mean, I think I can just open this door. Oh, too late. We're breaching it. Oh, look at that. This is the garage. Looks like there's some uh, barrels in here, so we don't want those to catch on fire. All right, we need to find the person in here. Let's go and open the door here. It says there's one victim. They did a 360 check on the outside of the house. Like I say, look in the windows and stuff. 
Uh, I don't know where the victim is. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, it says it's in the bedroom. All right, here we go. All right, so we got the victim here. I need to get the, uh, we need to get a little line out or something. Oh, let's get the, uh, victim first. Uh, we need to find that fuse box also. I want to assume maybe it could be in the garage. Oh, actually, here it is. All right, let's go ahead and disconnect the electricity real quick. There we go. All right, so now the fire should be able to, uh, be controlled here. Let's get this guy out. And, uh, we need to get our other squad mates into action here. Okay, so as far as I know, there's only one person in the house here. So we're going to go ahead and load them up on the stretcher over here. And then we're going to go in with the squad. I wonder if I can get another line in there. Uh, maybe we can get another attack line. Uh, let's see what we can do real quick. All right, there's a supply line. Do we, can we get another hose down? I think we can. So let's go in and equip another attack hose. I'll go in with this one. We already got the one guy in there working. I've got two people on me. Here, let's go ahead and remove the cap here. Uh, connect another attack line. And we should have a another nozzle back here. Here we go. All right, so this one's good to go. Let's go and connect it into here. And we're going to drop this. And we're going to tell maybe this guy over here to pick this thing up. Actually, I don't know if I can tell him to grab that or not. All right, well, you need to do something here. We'll get them all inside the house. We'll get them to follow us. I thought maybe I can get them to grab the attack lines from the ground. Uh, but maybe I can't. We need to also vent some more of this. Here, you need to go start smashing windows. All right, so he's going to work on that. We're going to get into the house here. Um, let's go ahead and get windows down. Open, All right, so they got those windows open. Let's get our flashlight on here. I got one guy on me. We need to... Here, I'm going to move maybe around here. Uh, we'll get to the back side of the fire. Oh, here we go. All right, so let's try to work on containing this. This is actually pretty cool. I mean, the AI is actually doing a decent job here. I kind of wish they would uh, maybe work a bit more on the windows instead of having to tell them, like, each individual window. Because we really need to get those taken care of uh, oh what the heck i'm hearing some stuff smash all right so we got one of the guys working on the other side and we're gonna work on this side and hopefully we'll meet in the middle here and take care of this fire there we go looks like we're in the dining room right now oh man the whole roof's engulfed in flames uh, let's try to take care of get our way inside of this real quick uh, i wonder how my other guy's doing there hopefully he's doing pretty decent also, it's probably not good to step in the fire. All right, I'm telling the AI to go out there and start breaking those windows on the other side. We need to vent this fire a little bit more. I'm having some problems. Wait, don't go in there. No, go around. Go around. Why did he just walk through there? Why would you not be smart enough to go around? Oh, I need to get that guy on me. Here, get back on me. <laughs> he just walked through the fire. I'm going to hose him off a little bit. Come on, ding dong. Do I have to be outside to tell you not to do that? All right, we're going to close this door real quick. This fire is really intense on this side. I'm going to see if I can go around to the other side. And we can work with this guy and see if we can work on this fire and maybe trap it. So closing the door has actually stopped some of the spread there, which is good. There he goes. All right, he's going to start working in here, see if we can get this thing taken care of. So I guess you can go back to these missions and try to do them within a certain amount of time. But I'm kind of just taking my time showing you guys how this stuff works. Uh, but this is pretty awesome. I'm actually really wanting to play this in multiplayer. So uh, look for a video on that really soon. And then if you guys want this to be a full-time series, let me know. Uh, we'll play. It looks like there's quite a few missions. And plus, we can go back uh, and play some more of them. All right, we're back in the dining room here. We can finally work on this side. It's not so bad now that I've got another guy, like, right beside me here. Uh, take care of the roof here. Start moving into the room. See if we can get this thing under control. All right, I'm going to give this guy a nozzle real quick. I'm going to tell him to go ahead and work. So that's how you give other people tools. So we got two lines going here. That guy's going to run out and grab another attack line. We need to just take care of this ASAP. So I'm going to head back out real quick. I'm going to try to vent some more windows. They're in there taking care of those at the moment. So uh, let's see if we can open up some more. Actually, dude, you need to get back in there. I think he's uh, trying to follow me around. All right, there goes the uh, third guy with the attack line. So I'm going to let them take care of most of the fire here. I'm going to go ahead and start venting the rest of these windows on the outside. Uh, but, yeah, we got three guys in there with lines, so we should be good. Take care of this one here. Make sure all these are vented. There we go. Uh, let's go around back. They got bars on the side of their house for some reason. Oh, uh, we need to vent this one here. There it goes. And, you know, I think I could probably try to open some of these, but I like breaking them because it's fun. Also, they have a locked back door. You know, this shouldn't be locked. Uh, you better have this open. Just in case something happens, we need to exit out really quick. All right, we're through here. There we go. Sweet. All right, looks like they've taken care of the fire in the dining room. So, yeah, you can actually use them. You don't have to always just focus on just the fire. You can kind of do some other things while the AI takes care of it. 
All right, so there we go. That's a success. So I think we're going to try one more mission here because that was absolutely a blast. And then hopefully next episode, we're going to be doing some multiplayer. All right, so it looks like we're leveling up. We we're a little slow on the mission. Obviously, I think we could uh, probably do better with actual people coordinating it because the AI control, it takes a little bit to get used to. But overall, pretty solid mission. So let's see if this unlocks just one more mission or what are we going to do here? We're going to have multiple unlocked or it looks like we got to kind of have to go down the line here. Oh, there's something over there. It's batting down the hatches. That looks like a new one. And there's the first one. Okay, so the new one's actually over here. Do we have any unlocked way over here? Oh, there's one down here too. Ooh, it's like a news station on fire. All right, let's do that one. Let's do a little night fire here. All right, we're ready to go. Let's turn on the lights. Sirens on, headlights on. All right, so we got to take care of this. Oh, and I turned the lights off. All right, so we got a little night fire here. It's right in downtown. There we go. We're getting some uh, information on the call here. Like, everything's set up really nice. Like, I really do wish they would have had this be like an open world game. And maybe you could hang out in the firehouse in between the calls. And maybe do even just some weird work, like washing trucks or something. But, like, I feel like that would have been really cool. I mean, the mission structure is pretty cool. As far as being able to set up games and get your friends in really quick. And maybe that's why they have it the way they have it. All right, so I just now noticed we're bringing a different style truck ahead of us, so we, we'll have a ladder. I wonder if we're actually going to use it. Like, it looked like it could have been, like, some sort of news station on fire, or maybe it's a newsstand. Maybe it's on the ground. I'm not really sure. All right, coming through. We're not that far from the fire right now. Uh, it's going to be right around the corner, I believe. Uh, about 400 meters out. Can tell these cars, don't pull out in front of us. Uh, we need to be able to do this. Wait, that's, yeah, that's a really low fire. Doesn't look bad at all. All right, approaching. Yeah, it's a newspaper stand, so I don't know why we brought the uh, the ladder. I guess we're not going to need it. Uh, but yeah, we can take care of this. This is going to be probably an easy one, I believe. All right, looks like we have a little bit of a scene here. Okay, let's park the truck. All right, let's get out. They're going to do a little check of the scene. I don't think we're going to be dealing with victims or anything. I mean, it looks like it's just the newspaper stands on fire. Uh, pretty basic. As long as we have a hydrant or something to connect to here. All right, so we need to get a... Actually, they're already hooking in the supply line. I kind of wish they made us do that, but looks like the AI is taking care of that. We got an attack line. They're going to go ahead and run over there. Uh, we need to move to the rallying point here. So I guess it's up there. They're going to go ahead and start working on that. Like, I don't think we've got much to do here. Uh, we can grab another attack line real quick and uh, attach it to the truck, and we'll help them out. But I don't think there's much to tell the AI to do here. All right, here's our nozzle, and let's put it on here. All right, so we're ready to go in. The fire looks like it's almost out. We'll go to the back side of it real quick and take care of it. And we'll just have the other people just kind of stand there. I uh, don't think we have to cut any sort of electricity to this. I think it's just take care of the fire itself. It's a pretty big uh, flame, though. I'll give it that. Really, really bright at night. I can hardly see. Uh, let's watch the back of it out. And then we're kind of on the roof here. I don't wonder if we're supposed to get that tower no this is going out immediately i was gonna say maybe we need to get the ladder up and get the top of it but yeah i guess it just kind of shows you that some of the missions are actually really short and easy like i figured that was gonna be a little bit more of a challenge but there we go so we took care of that one in a matter of like a minute <laughs> that's not bad at all so our drive time was still slow like i stay behind the other engine i feel like that would speed up if there's two people driving the uh the fire trucks, which I think that's a thing once you start the uh, multiplayer. But yeah, that was a really, really short mission. By the way, what do I get for leveling up? Can we like maybe change the appearance of our firefighter or, or what's the thing here? Yeah, I'm not really sure the point of the leveling system. Maybe it's just a ranking for online. But anyways, that's Firefighting Simulator the Squad. Pretty awesome game. I think if we continue it, we're going to do multiplayer and maybe still some single player, depending on kind of uh, how it goes. But thank you guys for all the love and support on this channel. You guys are amazing. We'll see you guys next time.